Are you ready to uncover the hidden truth about that special someone who's been secretly harboring feelings for you? The universe has given two exact statements from this person to you. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. And I'm obsessed with you brace yourself because the person who's been secretly smitten with you is finally ready to spill their guts prepare for a whirlwind of emotions as we reveal the identity of the person who's been quietly in love with you. Have you ever sensed someone's gaze lingering on you? Not just out of curiosity, but with a deeper intent? Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? Today, the cosmos is on the verge of unveiling the identity of this clandestine admirer and illuminating the reasons behind their readiness to disclose their feelings. What events prompted them to keep their emotions hidden for such a prolonged period? How could their admission impact the dynamics of your relationship and your interpretation of their fondness? An individual exists who harbors deep affection for you, but finds it challenging to articulate openly. It's possible they perceive the timing as less than ideal, or they wrestle with apprehensions about potential repercussions. Expressing their emotions may prove to be a daunting task for them, yet internally, their feelings for you run deep. Your presence occupies their thoughts persistently, prompting them to question whether their affection is mutual. This individual has devoted their unwavering attention to you, with thoughts of you dominating their every waking moment. They view you as the center of their universe, unable to shake the profound connection they feel. If you ever sense someone observing or contemplating you, it could very well be this person grappling with their emotions towards you. Additionally, there's an unspoken message residing within them, a declaration they hesitate to vocalize. They might have crafted messages or pinned unsent letters, yet hesitated to reveal their innermost thoughts. Moreover, it's essential to grasp that to them, you are incomparable in every aspect. They hold you in the highest esteem, admiring you in a distinct and profound manner. They envision a future intertwined with yours, contemplating a commitment that extends to the prospect of marriage. Here's the twist. Despite encountering their fair share of self-centered and malicious individuals, they've never encountered anyone quite like you. You radiate brightly in their eyes, captivating them with your exceptional qualities. Let's explore their past. There's someone from their history, possibly an ex-partner, who profoundly affected them. This individual left wounds, leading them to struggle with trust and view others through a lens of skepticism. Their ex's deceitfulness has seemingly tainted their perception of humanity, making it challenging for them to believe in genuine goodness. However, you've emerged as a beacon of hope amidst their disillusionment. Your authenticity and integrity have demonstrated to them that not everyone conforms to their ex's deceitful behavior. Through your actions, you've reinstated in them a renewed faith in humanity, for which they are profoundly grateful. This individual has a tendency to categorize people, heavily influenced by their past experiences. They've been hurt before, leading them to anticipate deceit and betrayal from others. But your presence has defied their preconceived notions. You've proven to them that individuals defy categorization and that genuine connections can indeed exist. Additionally, they can't shake the feeling that others are similarly drawn to you. It's as if you possess an irresistible charm that effortlessly attracts people. Regardless of your gender, your magnetic aura captivates those around you, making you the focal point wherever you go. You emit a vibrant energy that leaves a lasting impression, drawing others to you naturally. In your presence, there's always a sense of excitement and activity. Your charm is difficult for anyone to resist. Let's discuss the gifts you receive they seem to come abundantly. People feel compelled to spoil you a bit because of your irresistible energy. While your good looks play a role, it's your vibe, openness, and welcoming nature that truly stand out. 
You possess an extraordinary gift for putting everyone at ease, a quality that truly sets you apart. Your captivating energy effortlessly draws people towards you, regardless of your gender. You naturally take center stage wherever you go, commanding attention and sparking curiosity. Like a magnet, your aura attracts others, but it's not solely based on your appearance, it's your vibrant energy that enthralls them. Your passionate demeanor, brimming with warmth and intensity, leaves a lasting impression on those around you. Even if you don't feel a deep connection with someone, they often feel a profound connection to you. Your mere presence has a profound impact on the lives of others. Embrace your unique energy and continue to shine brightly, knowing that you inspire those around you. You are a catalyst for change and growth, destined to make a positive impact wherever you go. Your vibrant energy serves as a catalyst, inspiring others to unlock their inner potential and embrace their spirituality. Your innate ability to uplift and empower others is truly magical, igniting a spark of transformation within them. Be prepared to leave a lasting impact wherever you go, as your authenticity, enthusiasm, and dedication resonate deeply with those around you. While you may not be flawless, your genuine nature shines brightly, reminding others of the goodness in the world. Your unwavering passion fuels your actions, motivating others to follow in your footsteps. You approach life with a unique perspective, prioritizing personal growth and spiritual enlightenment. Your authenticity is a beacon of light, positively influencing the lives of those you encounter. With your childlike spirit and infectious energy, you effortlessly bring joy and vitality to every space you inhabit. With a childlike curiosity, you view the world through a lens of boundless possibilities, inspiring those around you to embrace their own creativity and vitality. Your infectious enthusiasm not only captivates love interests and friends, but also leaves a lasting impression on family members. Your unconditional love and nurturing nature deeply impact those in your inner circle, forging strong connections that are hard to break. You may encounter individuals from your past who struggle to let go or others who hesitate to express their feelings due to fear of rejection or insecurity. Someone out there harbors feelings for you but is hesitant to reveal them, grappling with feelings of inadequacy and fear of judgment from others. Despite their silence, it's evident that being apart from you poses a challenge for them. This individual perceives you as confident and assertive, believing that if you were interested, you would initiate contact. They are observing you from a distance, hesitant to impose on you or hinder your freedom. Their concern for your well-being is genuine, even if it means maintaining a respectful distance and allowing you to pursue happiness elsewhere. There's someone out there who has been harboring a secret for some time now, and it appears they are finally prepared to reveal it. They may reach out unexpectedly, perhaps under the influence of emotions or impulsivity, to express their heartfelt sentiments. Despite their apprehension, they have summoned the courage to take this leap, despite uncertainty about your response. This individual holds you in high regard, appreciating your spiritual growth serene demeanor, and overall allure. Despite grappling with feelings of inadequacy, they acknowledge their inner struggles with self-worth, questioning whether they measure up to someone like you. Amidst a backdrop of negativity and harmful influences, they've hesitated to reveal their emotions, yet your presence has brought a glimmer of hope and positivity into their world of pessimism. Now, they're preparing to unburden themselves to you, Realizing that their value isn't contingent upon their actions or perceived righteousness, but on the unconditional love extended to them by a higher power. They're coming to understand that imperfection doesn't disqualify them from receiving blessings, and that divine love embraces them despite their flaws. Embracing humility and surrendering to divine will, they're ready to unveil their vulnerability and share their heartfelt confession with you. Allow the righteousness bestowed by divine grace to envelop you, granting forgiveness, empowerment, and a newfound sense of purity. As you shed the garments of your past, 
You emerge as a transformed being in the embrace of Christ's love. Embrace the righteousness I offer you as a gift, unlocking the abundant blessings I have prepared for you. Healing, prosperity, success, and opportunities to serve in powerful ways. Emulate the mindset of Christ, approaching each situation with love, grace, and wisdom. Seek forgiveness for your shortcomings, immersing yourself in scriptures that illuminate the depth of my righteousness. Remember, your worthiness stems from Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, not from your own efforts. Understand that I am Jehovah Sidhu, your source of righteousness, and I love you unconditionally, always ready to guide you toward fulfilling your purpose. Find solace in me, your unwavering support and stability, especially during life's uncertainties. Place your trust in me as your protector and stronghold, both in familiar territories and uncharted paths. Arm yourself with the truth of my promises, wielding them as weapons of victory in every battle. Step forward boldly, empowered by the anointing I have bestowed upon you, knowing that I am by your side every step of the way. Boldly declare with unwavering confidence, for I am present among you to bring to fruition my word and uphold my pledges. Remain steadfast until trials transform into testimonies, assured that I am a consuming fire, dispelling adversaries and ushering in my abundant blessings in every aspect of your existence. Embrace the purifying fire of God in your life today. Stand resolute and fearless, for God stands by your side warring on your behalf. His fire eradicates doubts, fears, ailments, and insufficiencies, consuming all impediments to your fullest potential. The adversary cowers before the inferno of God's presence. He shall be utterly vanquished. Welcome the refining blaze of God's presence, allowing it to cleanse and mold you in his likeness. Rely on God's unwavering constancy even amid times of turmoil and confusion. Embrace the favorable proclamation of the gospel, for God's divine blueprint for your life is unfolding, and his assurances are resoundingly affirmative. Open your heart to the presence of God within you, poised to demonstrate his power and provision in your life. Repent of any unforgiveness and doubt, allowing faith, love, and hope to thrive and usher in God's favor and blessings. Feast upon the nourishing truth of God's Word, both its timeless principles and the fresh revelations He unveils today. Energize the activation of His Word in your life through acts of faith, remaining steadfast against the opinions of others. Prepare yourself for potential resistance to new revelations, standing firm in your commitment to follow God's guidance. Trust in his wisdom and direction as you endeavor to live according to his word and receive his blessings. In a society possibly lacking in enlightenment, truths may emerge from unexpected sources. My word unveils insights that traditional mindsets might overlook, emphasizing heart transformation over mere learning. Ready your heart for profound inward change and anticipate corresponding outward transformation. Your prayers necessitate no pleading, for I have already dispatched the answers you seek, tailor-made for you. I am not a God of scant provision, but one who overflows with blessings designed specifically for you. Place your confidence in me, the God who abundantly meets every need. Entrust to me your worries concerning finances, health, and the uncertainties of tomorrow. I understand the challenges and trials you face, and I want to reassure you, I am always here, ready to meet you in every situation. You're not walking alone. I'm standing right beside you, offering guidance, comfort, and support. When financial worries weigh on your mind, remember that I'm the ultimate source of abundance. Trust in my provision, for I supply all your needs according to my limitless riches. Release your anxieties, knowing that I'm working out every detail for your good. In times of health concerns, when fear clouds your mind, find solace in my healing touch. I am the God who heals and restores. Your well-being matters deeply to me, 
and I'm intimately involved in your journey to wholeness. Have faith in my wisdom and power to bring healing to every aspect of your life. Even when the path ahead seems uncertain, trust in my guidance. I hold your future in my hands, and I've designed a perfect plan for you. Every step you take is carefully orchestrated by me, aligned with my purpose for your life. I am fully committed to guiding you along the path of righteousness and abundance, accompanying you through every challenge and triumph. There's no need to fear the unknown, for I am your constant companion, shining light into the darkness with my presence. When doubts and worries arise, come closer to me and find comfort in my unwavering love and faithfulness. I am the firm foundation you can rely on, the solid rock beneath your feet. Rest assured in my promises and steadfast dedication to your well-being knowing that I am orchestrating everything for your ultimate good. Embrace the certainty of my divine plan, filled with purpose and promise, leading you toward a future of hope, prosperity, and fulfillment. Each step you take in faith brings you closer to the abundant life I have prepared for you. So, let go of fear and uncertainty, and step confidently into the glorious destiny I have designed for you. Trust in my sovereign control over every aspect of your life, for I am the one who began the good work in you and will see it to completion. As you journey through life's challenges, find comfort in knowing that I am always by your side, providing for your needs and guiding you through every high and low. Rely on my constant love and unwavering commitment to your well-being, for I will never abandon you. Rest in the assurance of my faithfulness and the countless promises I have fulfilled throughout history. Your miracle is not a distant dream, but a tangible reality waiting to unfold. Hold on to my words as a steady anchor for your wavering faith, leading you safely through life's storms. Pour out your heart to me completely, sharing your deepest desires and burdens with unwavering trust. As you listen for my guidance, you will discover not only answers, but also peace amidst life's trials. Remember, you are never alone in your struggles. I have equipped you with the strength to overcome and thrive. Your steadfastness in prayer is crucial for guiding your family back to happiness, harmony, and peace. Prioritize seeking my guidance before reacting impulsively, approaching challenges with love and understanding. Know that I am with you every step of the way, offering guidance and support. Rest assured that I will not allow you to face more than you can handle. Trust in my enduring love, empowering you to persevere through every obstacle with confidence. Triumph awaits you. Stand firm and confident, for I am here to lead you towards a future brimming with hope, joy, and prosperity. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, 
Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about his perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. 
As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. 
These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown, trusting in God's word, sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. 
I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, 
with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we're always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, his strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability, 
reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. 
Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness, your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement, binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. 
Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.